The following is a product demo of SAP Sales and Operations Planning powered by SAP HANA. Whether you're just getting started with SNOP or have a mature integrated business planning process, this next generation SNOP application is purpose built to support your end to end planning process. In this demonstration, you will see how SNOP allows you to not only profitably align supply and demand, but also to align functional groups within your organization. In particular, you will see three unique capabilities. Number one, a complete planning model. Number two, real-time what-if scenario planning. And number three, social collaboration. These enable organizations to be more agile and to make better, faster decisions in response to change. SNOP on HANA comes with out-of-the-box integration and modeling, so you can get started quickly with part of your business or part of your process, allowing you to rapidly drive business execution. What you see here is the SNOP application. The homepage provides a one-stop shop for participants in the SNOP process. Let me play the role of John, the SNOP planner. My job is to coordinate between the sales side and supply side of the house, not to mention finance and various executives. At the top, I have here a process dashboard to keep track of the high-level SNOP process within my business unit. You can see that I'm currently on the fourth step of the process, and we've had 67% participation so far. You can also see various real-time analytics that I can easily customize and display on my homepage. I'm now preparing for the so-called pre-SNOP meeting. Let me drill down into my business process and show you how we work together in the application. The application lets me organize and maintain all information for my SNOP process. Here's the participants. As you can see, I have good representation across the organization. I can use various tools to manage my process and its participants. Now I should mention that within my business unit, there's been a lot of tension between sales and the general manager, Mark. In fact, let me share with you the current situation. We just missed the quarter and now Mark, the general manager, spotted that Q1 is at risk. You can see sales and consensus plans are far below the annual operating plan, the APO from finance. He was able to see the issue in real-time analytics and he's asking for an ad hoc meeting today. Then some unexpected good news came up. Ashlyn from sales confirmed she's landed a new account and claims will now exceed the Q1 target. Time is short. I need to figure out what this all means quickly and set up my ad hoc SNOP meeting for today. I've done some preparation in the application for the ad hoc meeting here. And now the meeting is starting. I go through the agenda. We're going to agree on the demand, figure out supply options, review the financials, and agree on an overall plan. Note Jack, the supply planner, has already prepared three scenarios to support the new demand. Either we increase the capacity in-house, short the new demand, or use a contract manufacturer. Let's start with the analytics I've prepared. Let's take a look at the custom dashboard for the situation so that we can look at the facts before making critical decisions. I've put together a chart of the sales forecast, the annual operating plan from finance, and the consensus plan, followed by related capacity exceptions calculated in the SNP model. The next chart helps me understand how well Ashlyn is forecasting relative to her peers. When I show this, Mark points out clearly she's over forecasting by 50%. Finally, we have some scenarios from supply chain that Jack has prepared to support the possible surge in demand. I see I have several active alerts. I can pinpoint from my alerts where Ashlyn has made a change. I see 10 exceptions between the sales forecast and the consensus forecast. Let me click on the link to take action. I can now review the details of the forecast for the Xphone product family. This view is truly Microsoft Excel, thereby providing the ease of use and familiarity everyone is accustomed to. However, this data is not in outdated multiple spreadsheets and various disconnected systems. It's in one centralized database, and all calculations are real-time 
unlike other planning applications. From the chart, I see the bumped up sales forecast from Ashland. In the details below, the alert is highlighting uh, several gaps in the Q1 forecast. I tell the team I'm going to do a simulation to see what happens if we use her forecast as is. Right away I see the result. Simulation is always available and what's amazing is that our unique technology allows any planner to simulate on the entire demand supply finance model at any time. Note the revenue is different due to different pricing assumptions. Mark gives me an order to reduce the forecast by 75% since Ashlyn over forecasts per the analytics we reviewed. In this Excel interface I can easily enter in a formula. I'm ready to save my changes. Here I can capture and share my assumptions. These assumptions are often as important as the numbers in SNOP. I select from a configurable set of reason codes and type into comment to share with the team. I will share this specifically with the pre-SNOP team. The next item on the agenda for this ad hoc SNOP meeting is to review the supply. In real time, the SNOP application has calculated a constrained supply plan based on the supply chain network model. Let me check my alerts. From the chart, I see that the capacity required in blue is greater than the capacity limit in red. Looking at the details below, I can see that the X phones are made at two manufacturing locations. At each location, we have two different types of resources. The SNOP calculation model is unique in that we can constrain the plans in real time with multiple independent constraints. I see issues highlighted automatically in three out of the four resources. I can drill down to see various product families also affected. During the meeting, Jack mentions that the upside supply scenario that he had prepared did not take into account this much of a demand increase so we decide to increase the capacity on the fly. I quickly open the upside capacity view and increase the capacity to what the application is recommending. And save my changes. Let's now compare the three scenarios so we can make a proper assessment. I can compare side by side the profit, revenue, the constrained quantity, and projected inventory of the three scenarios that Jack and I have prepared. It's clear that the upside scenario not only brings us more revenue, but also profit. As a team during the meeting, we decide to go with the upside scenario. I'm going to promote this scenario right now. I select the upside scenario It's been a very effective ad hoc SNP meeting. Let's recap. We collaborated and simulated effectively, leading us to getting our revenue back on track for Q1 by increasing sales of new product that was lagging. In real time, we resolved supply constrained issues and evaluated three scenarios. The baseline of shorting new demand, the upside of increasing in-house capacity, and the downside of using a more costly contract manufacturer. We compared the scenarios and made a decision based on facts, not gut feel. Not only did we prevent missing another quarter, we did so in real time during the SNOP meeting itself.